Are, are, are you done talking now, Monkey? Because I want to say something. Or should we say over like we're truckers? <laughs> over. over. <laughs> Yeah. That would we'll be a funny to, podcast, no, trucker we'll podcast. To, <laughs> <laughs> no, no one. <wouldn't. laughs> yeah, so, I annoying. guarantee the, the trucker airwaves talk about the same shit that Reactor does. I'm just gonna go ahead oh, yeah. and say that we started the podcast because, uh, yeah, that's fine. You know, trucker podcast. Let, yeah, let the audience get a little insight of of our pre-show banter. So Reactor um, said him and Tim are gonna become truck drivers, and I started making fun of him. Why? I don't get yeah, it, though. Yes. What's wrong with truck drivers? I don't get it. Well, because I think they have maybe their culture likes conspiracy theories a little bit, and they will go off on their little no. radio, ham radio shows, talking about the kind of shit we talk about. Their culture smokes crack so they can stay up on a 24-hour <laughs> delivery. <laughs> yeah, Do man. You smoke Smokey, crack? Show some fucking respect. No, but like, yeah. I, I want to smoke crack, and if I'm a trucker, then I'll have an excuse. <laughs> Just don't snort it. I do not recommend snorting, snorting crack. Snorting crack? Yeah, it sounds like No, it was too much. Too much. Really? <laughs> Isn't it like really big you have to break it up? Isn't that what Rusty I mean, said? Yeah, like if you crush it yeah, up so, enough. Yes. It'll, crack it'll just, is a crack rock. Well, yeah, no. It's normally. Well, it's just free-based normally cocaine. Normally you smoke it. Well, yeah, it's free-based cocaine, but it's all. Yeah, probably also, too big to snort. It's free-based because no. it's cut with baking soda. No, no, no. It's free based because it's a single cocaine molecule and it's not connected to a high, uh, hydrochloride molecule. I know. I'm all right. Hold on. I'm going to call bullshit real quick. I'm pretty sure free the. But how do you do? You get do it wait, to wait, 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 back up. Back up. Separate. Do you, have you have you ever heard of an acid? Do you know what an acid is? Yeah, I'm not. Do you know, I do you, never really took chemistry, though. But do you know what a base is? Acid and base. Y- yeah. People call rusty based all the time. Yeah. Yeah. So, so basically, uh. A basic molecule like cocaine, it will bind to an acidic molecule like uh, hydrochloric acid because of the disparity in electrons. So they bind together, and then when it's connected to hydrochloric acid, it becomes a salt, which is soluble in the mel- in the human body because we're slightly, you know, salty. So that's why you can snort cocaine hydrochloride, which is the powder that people usually have. Mm-hmm. And then free base cocaine is when you put it in baking soda, which is a base, and it disconnects the acid molecule from the, the cocaine molecule. Yeah, that, that's and this what is I not just a, said. This is, this is not a very good way to start a podcast on YouTube, though. Well, Reactor, I think we just came up with our next million-dollar idea. Everybody <laughs> knows of Bill Nye. We grew up watching these Bill Nye the Science Guy videos, and now he's like an adult who, in, in Reactor's view, I assume, denies science, and he's like a big cuck. Is that safe to say? Oh, he, yeah, he just he, – he just, is part of the whole made up science stuff like uh, global warming. Yeah. So what if like as revenge and sweet, sweet satire reactor starts his own bill Nye for adults and he gives the real science on the real shit. Yeah. And it'll be called crack be called, cocaine. Be, be, be. <laughs> Chris, <laughs> <Kirby> <laughs> <noises>. the science <laughs> something. <laughs> yeah. Anything with drugs. I mean, the, the music video parody at the end of the episode, you could just do so many artists who have died from these drugs. I you, thought it's really a, it's a all you can eat buffet of comedy for your reactor. I thought your uh, idea was going to be like free base caffeine so that people could smoke caffeine rocks because it's legal. It sounds like the crack is working just fine. Yeah, but free base caffeine rocks would be legal, and we could just sell, we can sell them in little baggies to the gas station, or we could put them in those. Little it seems gl- like those little glass. They would just uh, make that illegal. Those glass, you know, those glass tubes that the roses come in. Vases. No, at the gas station, you can buy these little glass tubes, oh. and they've got a, a rose in them. Well, you, well are you, you're saying you want to do an actual episode teaching people how they could legally smoke caffeine? No, I'm saying let's start a business where we sell uh, caffeine rocks. Oh, you don't want to do it for my stupid Bill Nye parody anymore? I don't know. I mean, like, I, I'll do uh, one episode, maybe. I mean, yeah, Rusty said he will direct it and write the script. Can it be? A, is it oh, going to be a Jesus musical? Christ. Yeah, th- there'll be a song at the end. There always is. <laughs> There's always a song Bill at Nye. the end. Yeah. Oh yeah. You know, Bill Nye, I, I really did like Bill Nye growing up. Me too. Uh, sorry. And then I fucking hate him now. Yeah. What a what a way to like it was so unnecessary for him to to come back uh, <laughs> and just completely yeah. ruin his career and his legacy. It's like that's that's why he came back years later was just to completely demolish everything that he had built in the 90s and make everyone who used to like him hate him. 
I but heard, Rusty, he's not even what, what percentage of the population feels betrayed like you do? Isn't the majority opinion that Bill Nye is still based and awesome? Well, let's let's just look at a. a also, I don't know why we're talking about this uh, this eight year old news, but um, let's see Bill Nye's season. What new season ratings? Uh, didn't he have a whole new name for the show? Um, Bill Nye, multiple genders guy. Yeah. Bill Nye, new show. Bill Nye saves the world. What a pretentious uh, uh, fucking <laughs> wow. Oh my God. Uh, first Thank his- you, Bill Nye. Thanks for saving the fucking world. Oh, a 3.6 out of 10. Wow. But first also. He, uh, he, I was going to say he sells the idea that the world is uh, doomed. That the climate isn't supposed to change, and then oh my god, the climate's changing. This isn't supposed to happen. I mean, to be fair, three point six out of ten is better than this show. Is it? Wait, do we have I a mean, rating? I yeah, mean, I feel like we're piloting like a two out of ten ship. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. is a little is a little sloppy here. No, um, I, <laughs> I listen to this podcast like thousand a thousand times a week each episode. <laughs> is that your main source of information? No, our podcast. I listen to our podcast. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, you just listen okay, to yourself. Know. Yeah, because I, I can never remember. Should we, what you guys uh, should said. we talk about? Should we talk about potentially uh, making a new channel? Go for it. Should we? All right. Well, so I guess for everyone listening, so I, obviously this uh, the the channel that we've been uploading on is like is just a a reincarnation of two channels before it was initially all knife game videos and then it was the last podcast that me and monkey did um state of the youtube and now it's trash rats the thing is despite having all these subscribers who subscribed for completely different reasons uh Mm -hmm. you can't really pull the rug out from underneath subscribers they're going to realize quickly that they don't actually like maybe they don't like the new content they're not as interested in it and that kind of fucks with uh youtube's algorithm because when youtube sees that a majority of your subscribers don't watch your content uh it really crushes its reach so it, you know you'll never see it in recommended even if uh you're subscribed or whatever i guess what i'm getting at is that um i think it probably makes sense to just make an entirely new fresh channel for trash rats. Uh, I think that's something we like lightly discussed before. Uh, yeah. And I think uh that would be pretty funny because then we'll have like a thousand subscribers. Yeah. Yeah, we'll 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 be able to see who actually actually cares about listening to this show. And then every subscriber we get from there is uh maybe we'll actually start seeing some green because I don't think that we've we've gained any subscribers since we started this show just lost hundreds every week. I have actually, and, I have an idea. What we can do okay. is uh, we can start another channel and then we'll keep posting on both on this channel and that channel, but we'll post it on the other channel like a day early. Well, I was thinking this channel just posts the highlights from the actual show. Right. Right. And not post the same content on two different ones. Oh no. Yeah. Like, uh, well, not the well, same full podcast. I the mean, more channels we post it on the better. Right. No, because I think we want to focus all the views of the show itself, like on one specific link, so we can get all the, you know, all the views on the actual new podcast channel. Well, no, we'll and just do it for a couple who weeks. Stick around, and like, yeah, the thing is, like, YouTube is so shitty at notifying people. Like, I'll all the time they'll tell me, "Oh, I'm subscribed, and I have the bell, and I still didn't see your new upload till five days later." So I imagine even if we do the new channel for the podcast, most people wouldn't even find out from YouTube until like two months later anyway. So might as well. Hey, I have post a better idea. A, a bunch of clips. How you about know? how about this? All right. So we we start a new channel, and then what we do is we post this episode on that channel, the new one, and then we post on our original the original channel, uh, like a a two minute video saying, "Hey everyone, the real videos on the other channel." I mean, or we could just post a clip of this conversation since we're starting yeah, the clips channel. But well, we should not even start the new channel until after this one comes out. Like we yeah, have to yeah, at least agree. F- float the idea in the but water we, before we just do it. No, we and, should just let listeners any know. Clips, well, like before any clips that we end up posting on this channel, this current one, which will I guess become our clips channel, uh, we'll just put like a little. Um, I don't know, a, a quick few seconds saying, hey, we moved our channel, subscribe here. 
I mean, this is a pretty dedicated audience, and I can't imagine yeah. it's our too Patreon big, so. is surprisingly good, actually. True, for yeah, a, yeah, a podcast of this size, like we have uh, some really dedicated, cool people out there, which the uh, I'm always shocked. <laughs> Yeah, I, I it's I mean this r- really will not affect the listeners too much at all except no. you know that this channel will become a clips channel if we actually, you know, get to cutting them up in into clips or uh, episodes which seems like a pain in the ass. But, all right. But okay, um, so so the link to I mean the, that's not that hard. So we, we well, we're going to start a new channel and then we'll put the link in the description of this video or we'll like pin the comment or something, right? So when they're yeah. listening to this video, visit this video they can go subscribe to the other channel so that next time, you know, right? That makes yeah. sense. Yeah, yeah something yeah, like pretty that. Much. Yeah. That, all right. Well, uh, just letting you all know, um, in uh, other not really good or bad news, um, Joe Biden's dog died. Yeah, it's actually kind of sad. Yeah, I, I, I you know, you, you kind of want to pick on Joe Biden whenever you can, uh, but not when, when his dog dies. Yeah, like then his at dog that point. He's no longer like this corrupt, weird politician, uh, alleged a bunch of other things. He's just an old man who just lost a dog. Yeah, well, no, I don't think he's sad that he lost his dog, but I just feel bad that, you know, the dog, <laughs> you know, a dog died. Dogs aren't, don't, dogs aren't supposed to die. Dogs are supposed what to breed live of forever. dog was it? It was a German Shepherd. Mm. And, it, and it was 13 years old, which is kind of old. For a it was a shepherd. descendant of the uh, German Shepherds from uh, the Nazi concentration camps. Is that true? Uh, I don't know, but probably. I mean, it's a German Shepherd, and you know, it's Makes the same sense, species of dog. So, I, I think it would be unlikely oh. that it wasn't related. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I was. I just forgot that it's Father's Day. Should we uh, give a big shout out to uh, all the the fathers out there? Uh, yeah, sure. If you want. Nah, I don't really want to. Well, w- which of us has the hottest dad? I think the audience is dying to know. Uh well Ooh, Rusty's dad is like a good question. What is your dad like eighty? <laughs> He's seventy how old is he now? He's seventy one. Yeah, yeah, yeah so, but, but so how how 80. hot is he? Nobody cares about age. Well, He's I mean, got some swagger. He was definitely a pimp back in the day. But so uh, like a nine out of ten daddy? Yeah. Uh, he's like a granddad, so I'd, I'd probably put him at a uh, probably an eight, eight out of ten. I mean, I'd say a grandpa with big dick energy is more dangerous than just a daddy with big dick energy. That grandpa oh, that's seen absolutely some shit. True, yeah, yeah. I yeah, think got I, wisdom. I think, I think my dad could definitely beat up your dads if that's the question. <laughs> really? Are you saying your dad's Hold not his... hot? Oh no, I mean, he, yeah, I think he's probably attractive to women still. What? So he's buff and hot. He's addicted to exercising. Like really oh, addicted. Instead to exercising. of reading a book like you and your brother. <laughs> oh, I'm, no, I mean. Uh, <laughs> the family split between is muscular and no, yeah. I mean, I, his kids not, just go to the library. No, I've never been to a library in my life. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, it shows. Because <laughs> I mean, I, I've had the internet my whole life. Why would I go to the library? It's like so I can look for a book that has a little piece of information I wanted, but I can just go to the internet and look for it. Yeah, Quentin Tarantino famously said, I didn't go to film school, I went to films, and Reactor mm-hmm. didn't go to the library, he went to history in person. Yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. Reactor, what's the worst memory you have with your father? Oh. Uh, I think I told the story where like I got suspended from school for a week for spitting on a teacher's head, and then uh, <laughs> I was like camping out in like our old house that we were about to sell, because we had moved. And then, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he came. He came home, and I just like bolted out the door. Like, even though he knew I was running through the house, he didn't know it was me because he didn't see me. But like, he walks into our house and hears someone like dash through the back door and leave the door wide open. I ran into the garage, kicked kicked the door to the garage open, then swung the big door open like with my hands and just left it open and ran down the like. I, why did I run sh- straight down the alley? I don't understand. What I was thinking. I don't know. It's so dumb. <laughs> I, I'm sure I was ripping on you on that before, but you ran. It's like you're running from someone shooting at you and you just keep yeah. running straight. Uh, I should have dipped into like I should have went two houses <laughs> down and then jumped into the backyard of the across the alley neighbor. But right, instead, right. Yeah. Instead, I'm like halfway down the block in the alley and I hear my dad yelling at me <laughs> <laughs> as though as though he's just like a bully trying to whoop your ass. And if you can uh, outrun him, that's uh, then you're safe. 
Yeah, I, I probably would have been you're better. You're both off. going to the same house. I probably would have been better off if I was like, "Oh no, Dad, I, I came here to take a nap before school and I overslept." Yeah, yeah, that would and instead of just straight up running, sense. running from him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, that's not a terrible story. I mean, it could always be worse. You know, you could have been like sexually abused by your <laughs> dad or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess. Now, my dad was actually pretty cool. Uh, like, I remember when I was twelve and he caught me smoking. He was like, "You should quit," and I was like. I was like, that, that's what you're going to say? Okay. Uh, Just gives I, you good I, advice. Yeah, I didn't quit, but <laughs> yeah. Well, you did eventually. No, I mean, well, yeah, for a little while. I quit every time I, I'm done smoking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, right. Eventually, you do have to quit smoking. What about you, Monkey? Uh, what's the uh, worst worst uh, memory you have? Or the best? Or is oh, this just man. a really stupid segment that we can probably move on from? <laughs> yeah, I don't think me and my dad have anything interesting. One time I, I mean, when I began my monkey career, I guess you could say like back in 2015, uh, I did drag my dad onto a podcast. Um, oh, shit. Now, this was a big mistake because I was letting the fans vote for it. Like it was like a, we will review any movie that the fans vote for. So we're getting uh, like movies like Gay N words from outer space. Uh, I don't know if Trash Rats wants the N bomb dropped on it, so I, I played it safe. But uh, the episode my dad was on, the audience wanted us to watch a Serbian film. Oh, so shit. I showed that to my dad, and he he did not like it. It's not was a movie. he down? I've never actually seen a Serbian film, but I, I know about its notoriety. Yeah, you don't want to watch it with your parents. Wait, but it was very funny. Is it, it was just so uncomfortable, the whole podcast. Is it called a Serbian film or was it a Serbian film? Both. It is called a Serbian film. And it's from Serbia? Yeah, it's about how the people, uh, I guess, the, how they feel about their government and how they all get, you know, fucked by it. No. Well, I, can you ex- yeah. can you explain just uh, to fill us in? Because I, I kind of forget what it's well, about. Well, ultimately, a Serbian film is a story of a man who's tricked into having sex with his son and raping his own son. <laughs> oh, okay. So I'll, that's, that's a that good... Was, I was going to say, like, I would imagine that's what they would suggest, a movie about that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. And so (laughs) I sat down with my dad to watch that one, and then we talked about it on a podcast for like an hour. And I'm sure that video is still up somewhere, but that's from like 10 channels deleted ago. But it's a a classic monkey moment. And that was the last Uh, time you spoke to your father? (laughs) (laughs) No, he he said he wanted to have more movie nights, so I was really confused. Uh, Oh, God. He kept sending mom out of town. (laughs) How did how did he actually take that though? Like, because that does seem like very fucking awkward. Was he kind of like, no, I man, damn, it, my do dad, we have to actually do this? Uh, when I was a kid, the reason why I'm into movies is because my dad took me to the movie theater every single weekend, like my whole life. So we watch movies of all sorts all the time. But that's just mm-hmm. like the worst choice possible. But it's not <laughs> like he cares. Like he has me as a son. He really can't care about something cringy or horrible. True, true. I remember my dad would. Uh, he made me and my sister, we, we would have to watch like shit like um, uh, Saving Private Ryan when we were like nine years old, just so we understood the horrors of war. And we're so you can it. see what a good movie is like. Some yeah. parents forcing their nine-year-olds to just watch cartoons or whatever the fuck. Oh, I was all for it. I mean, it was dope, but it was definitely, you know, horrific. Because I was just <laughs> like, you know, going to sleep with my uh, confused, fragile mind trying to process, you know, a guy holding his guts in with one hand and then looking for his arm uh, that got blown off and he can't grab it because he only has one hand left. Yeah, and, I, uh, you know, I think calling he didn't out wa- for his mother. I think your dad didn't want you to join the military. It, it definitely worked. <laughs> like when you're five years old, hey, let's watch for this movie, son. Mm-hmm. Traumatize you. So you never... <laughs> yeah. Because that, that is, is what the military is like. Juneteenth is the day the Republicans, uh, the the Union Army... Uh, freed the last of the slaves in Texas from the Democrats. <laughs> Did you oh. have to bring in the political parties to tell that story? Oh, I mean, it was a political. I mean, the union was the Republicans. And the, I mean, I think I think uh, a certain group of people was more focused on like how it benefited black people and less than like the Republican Democratic maybe connotations of history. Oh, I mean, we're we're gonna we're gonna not talk about the it was it being the Union Army just because we don't <laughs> what. 
want to offend people? <laughs> no, I mean, I think you're 100% right. I'm just, I like the way you present history. I, th- <laughs> yeah. I think it says a lot about a lot of things. Uh, me, I'm always going to the politics, but I mean, you know, freeing the <laughs> slaves was a big political issue. And it was the cause yeah, of I agree. Of war. I agree. Hundreds I'm, of thousands. I'm, dude, I'm on your side here, dude. Yeah, hundreds I of agree. thousands of Americans died to end slavery. America is like the land of the free. So... The Democrats being the party of slavery is one of my favorite facts about history. <laughs> yeah. And it's they're, very, also, very funny. they're also the party that started the KKK. And they're also the party that uh, set that records. It. They set records trying to filibuster and stop the Civil Rights Act of 1964. You know, like they, 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 it is they're hard workers at the very least. Yes. Yes. They are very hard workers. And I know we mentioned this on the show, but uh, I, I forget the guy's name, but like the who was a Democratic senator? Senator he was, Robert Byrd. Uh, yeah, it was it, like that was. Uh-huh. In, uh, he's the one up who set until the like 2019. No, 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 no. A, 2010. He was in office till 2010. 2010. He was a Democratic senator who held the record for filibustering the Civil Rights Act, and he was a Democratic senator. And then they say the party switched. Like, oh, really? Then why did he stay? Like, this was like the dude who like. He, he was in the KKK. <laughs> yeah, he was a he was a recruiter and leader. He start his. He did, his town didn't have a Ku Klux Klan chapter, so he went door to door and started one. That's pretty <laughs> ambitious. Yeah, and this dude was until 2010 that Obama was still in the Democratic. Obama was in the Democratic Party with this guy, and then Biden he spoke at his funeral. Wasn't he? Biden spoke at his funeral and and said that he, he was a role model. And he said, "I'm going to uh, win it for you. Uh, I'm going to win it for you, Mister Bud. <laughs> I'll do whatever it takes." <laughs> Can we see that? Can we see that picture again? Uh, I, we went, I want to talk about it on the last show. It Which was picture? Like, it was like a tweet that uh, Pride, like Twitter Pride or some, what was it? Some company tweeted oh, out. Oh, pushing gay people off a building. Oh, yeah, I gotta, yeah. I gotta see this again. How long was it? Just yeah. back in the chat. Yeah, it's a little bit back. Yeah, there, there it is. Let me make a timestamp real quick so I can post this for all our listeners. It's from the 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 account is Pride. Twitter. It's Twitter's like the five letter word pride. And I guess it's like a, a gay pride. It has a check Twitter mark account. on it. Yeah. So this is the official Twitter account of being gay. Yeah. Not sure. I'm not sure what the, they say sending the beautiful person below this tweet lots of hashtag <laughs> pride. Yeah. And it's like a smiling yeah. emoji pushing a pride flag off a building. Now, is this real? Or yeah, I mean, how long was this up? Oh, what was it the was up for over a day. No, what no, no. Fuck, June second, like I posted this into our chat on like when when is this? The twelfth? Yeah, this is June second. It's from I still June. I saw it on their account the next day. Well well oh well so that's like the the thirteenth of June. So that was like eleven days later. Uh, okay. All right. Let's be ob- objective. What could they possibly have been trying to say mm. with this image. They could have been trying to repurpose the common ASCII meme of pushing someone off a roof for being gay. <laughs> yeah. You know? You think that's what it yeah, was? Yeah, because I don't think they designed that meme or like that ASCII art, you know? I think it's like a common I don't know. What, I don't know what that means. What are you talking about, ASCII art? Uh, you know, like ASCII... Uh, like what the building character. is made out of. Yeah, it's like you can draw with these oh. ASCII characters, like how people draw cats or something, and it's all like oh, yeah, text yeah, letters. Yeah. yeah, so that's like ASCII art. But, uh, I think the only two options for how this was released was either somebody working for their Twitter, some intern, is so incredibly ignorant about <laughs> what gay people face in the Middle East <laughs> that they actually thought there was no other connotation. It's either that person or somebody who did know and yeah. like they're in on the joke. <laughs> right, right, right. But that first person, that first person, what if they were ignorant of, you know, throwing gay people off of tall buildings? Why the fuck would they post this image at all? What is the guy doing? Is he just throwing a flag? He, off he's the throwing like gay vibes onto all the gay oh. people. Oh, I see. I see. I see. Gay vibes. Okay. <laughs> That's what. It, isn't that what they're saying? Like yeah, we're going to yeah, throw yeah. gay vibes onto you? Sending the beautiful person below this tweet lots of pride. Yeah. The unexpected, <laughs> unexpected walker uh, pedestrians down below. Get, yeah, uh, getting covered in, are about in to pride. be showered with gay pride. Yeah. But, so is it? Like, is it safe to say that it was just an ignorant person or? No, I really think that. I think the. You think it was somebody no malicious and funny? Yeah. Like, you think the yeah, person that, who runs the, the gay pride account has no idea that the Middle East throws gay people off buildings? I can't believe that. Well, I feel like that. 
the tweet was up and complained about for at least 20 hours. So they would have to That's be at true. least somewhat ignorant of what's going on to you, not delete it saying, immediately. You keep saying 20 hours, but it was up for like over, it was like up for two weeks. It probably still up. No, I, they've taken it down by now, I've seen. Are you sure? It, it was, yeah, I'm sure. When I posted it into our chat, I had just screenshotted it that day on the 12th. I posted see. it in here. Yeah, so that was 10 days it was yeah, up. Yeah, at the very least. Yeah, all right, all right, all right. I think, uh, God, I'd really love to see what the reply to this is because it looks like they replied to their own tweet. Right. And they deleted it? Yeah, um, I, I think it actually is ignorance because if someone was trying to do this maliciously, this is not a very bold way to get a malicious point across. Like, it, you still kind of have to interpret it to get the point. Wouldn't they just say, like, uh, uh, like fuck gay people or some no. shit like that? No, because you would, you would want to trick all the, the gay followers of the account into sharing it. True. And most of the well, replies and retweets I saw were people pointing well, out, yeah. like, how obviously offensive it yeah, would be. Like, <laughs> so... Okay. I think, yeah, I saw people, like, questioning why it was still up. Like, holy shit, yeah. this is real. <laughs> and, and, like, the whole, whoever runs the entire account is to blame if they left it up for over a week. That's, there's no way they didn't know by then. They, no, they only have to tweet one thing a year, like, at the beginning of And they uh, fucked Pride it up? <laughs> they just fucked it up. <laughs> Their one tweet of the year that we hire you to do, you fucked it up. That is pretty funny. I mean, um, they shouldn't have hired the Islamic intern to run the Pride account. Well, I mean, who are, who well, are we yeah, to say that to be Islam is wrong? About you know? pushing gay people off of buildings? If that's, that's part of their faith, then we're nobody to judge them. Yeah, I should no, have thought be, about yeah, people, being racist. I'm way too white to even have an opinion here, I guess. Yeah. You shouldn't attack people uh, on their beliefs. I mean, if a if a Muslim woman wants to wear a hijab, that's her decision. Uh, and and so if, true. if they want to push and being gay is not a belief. If gay people get pushed off buildings in the Middle East, and you're a gay person in the Middle East, then isn't that what you are, you know, expected to do? Is to jump off a building? Yeah, yeah, something like that. I mean, well, I think it's I think it's actually in the Quran. It says to throw homosexuals off like the highest mountain or something like that. And yeah, so probably. They didn't they didn't want to figure out what the highest mountain was, so they just find like a nearby building. The, the Burj is that Dubai? how the Fourth of July is going to end? One of us is getting thrown off Rusty's roof. Oh man, <laughs> it's a single story. <laughs> Who's the gayest one that's going to the Fourth? That's a good question. I, I guess we're going to have to find out. I'm guessing that's a test. That's got to be a patron question already, right? Yeah, who's the gay? Wait, who's the gayest out of us or out of who's going? I guess both. I, I think I, I think mean, monkey would be the gayest. Out of us three? Yeah, because I know probably, for a fact I'm not monkey. gay. And then <laughs> I know and Rusty's gay, got a so girlfriend, the, and I don't even yeah. know about your girlfriend. So, oh yeah, I guess I'm gay. You got me. Yeah, yeah. lives in Canada or some shit. Huh? <laughs> yeah. You went to summer camp together, and we don't know her, but you swear she's real. That's your backstory with grade A under A. <laughs> Is it? I didn't yeah, you guys went camp. to camp together. Did we? I don't even remember <laughs> In anymore. the video that you posted of me on your channel explaining why you got arrested, <laughs> I say that you guys went to summer camp as kids. Oh, yeah. And probably, that's how you were friends with Grade A Under A. Did you hear about um? You hear about that girl who got uh, uh, raped in an Airbnb? And then um, she kind of got like pulled into... Or no, no, someone got the key to her Airbnb. And so she went inside her own Airbnb and then someone uh, raped her in Airbnb, paid her $7 million to shut the fuck up and go back to Australia where she came from. And that's what I, I would do. I actually heard... I take that money. I heard uh, uh, Airbnb actually has like hundreds of millions of dollars set aside that they pay people off for. Like, Oh, I believe Like there's it. been all, like, all kinds of crazy shit, like attacks... And like Wait, murders. so this lady didn't take the seven million? She went and blabbed for free. I I'm not actually sure. Uh, yeah. I guess I didn't finish the story to see how this. I'm sure somebody said it, but yeah, yeah the rapist came back forward back. and said, oh, "Guys, I might be a rapist, but I think this company's taking advantage <laughs> the, of that little gal." No, the rapist was <laughs> yeah, like, right. "Hey, I didn't sign an NDA. You gonna pay me too? <laughs> pay the rapist? I mean, if they wanted yeah. the story to stay quiet." That's what Trump did. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> crazy, though, that 
They spend on average uh, fifty million dollars annually on payments yeah. to hosts and guests, including legal settlements uh-huh. and damage to homes. True. No, I mean, well, hey, remember that next time you get an Airbnb. I, I, I didn't read the story, but I would assume she like rented out her extra room. She didn't like go to her to an Airbnb she was renting, right? No, no. This is this is a girl who came from Australia and. Um, she was in. She rented an Airbnb in New York. Oh, okay. So, um, but, but but I mean, like, okay, the homeowner she rented it, and the homeowner was probably living there. Maybe, but I guess the homeowner wasn't there at a time. I mean, why why would the homeowner have to live there? Because that's usually what Airbnb does. It's like you got an extra room. You don't really rent out your whole house. Well, I guess you. Oh, do. I've done All that. Right, let's see. Every time I've Airbnb, I just took somebody's either whole apartment or whole house. Yeah, yeah. That's that's every time I've done it as well. Like they oh, so you know, yeah, it was probably like a previous guest or something. All right, let's see. After ringing in the new year, uh, the young woman left her friends at the bar and returned to the apartment alone without imagining that someone was waiting inside. Hmm. Um, let me see. Why'd they write it like this? I guess how the person got inside is earlier. Uh, the platform was far from foolproof. Blah, 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 blah. No, it doesn't say. Didn't expect that someone was waiting inside. The stranger stepped out from the shadows, threatened her with a kitchen knife, pushed her under a bed, and sexually abused her. Uh, I, although the streets were full of people, fear paralyzed the girl. She could not scream. In the end, the attacker fled with her phone, but she managed to contact her friends with an iPad, and they went to find a police officer. Oh, wow. An hour later, when the agents were in the apartment, the criminal made the mistake of returning and leaning out the door. What? Uh, what? Returning and leaning out the door, which allowed him to be caught. Oh. In his backpack, they found three incriminating items. A knife, an earring from the woman, and a set of keys to the property. It was the homeowner. How the fuck did he... You think so? Why, why else would he go back home? The, He was going home. Well, I don't think <laughs> yeah, it was but, the homeowner, but I also don't see why Airbnb would be responsible that somebody broke into a random apartment and raped somebody. Why unless, does Airbnb have to pay anything? Unless it was the homeowner. And it, that would, you know, they didn't vet the homeowner well enough. It, like, oh, damn it, we are rented our Well, our wouldn't room that be in, in the story house. if that was the case? Yeah, well, I no. think that would definitely be the story. Well, I would no. say that he just went to like a, a quick, like one of those quick key things and just made a double set maybe he had rented yeah. the Airbnb. oh yeah he probably rents a lot of them like you ever hear of uh jigaboo jones yes actually i was i was just showing someone jigaboo jones the other yeah, night he was Is like that one of my old channels i forgot about <laughs> oh yeah probably <laughs> yeah before you were monkey you were jigaboo but uh sounds right he had this like video where he would put uh tracking gps's into uh rental cars in the trunk you remember that yeah yeah that was hilarious Sorry, my cat just jumped on my computer. Yeah, yeah Jigaboo Jones was fucking was awesome, he real? man. When I was growing up, he was up, fake, right? I, um, I, I, all right. Here's what I think. So here's the character Jigaboo Jones. Uh, I can probably post a clip. Yeah, that'd be good in this video, so y'all can see. Um, what time is it? <laughs> How long I've been recording? Uh, Jigaboo Jones is like, he's like this overly ghetto, mm-hmm. like overly offensive ghetto black dude with like a Jerry curl and yeah. Uh, you know, he likes to say the N word like, a lot. He looked like Easy E, or he reminded me of Easy E a little. Yeah, yeah, he was. He looked like Easy E, and um, he would just show you how to commit crimes, yeah. but he would do them so nonchalantly in the videos that it it really seemed staged. Uh huh. But then uh, I I think I think what was happening is that he would it was comedy, and they would just kind of stage all this. So he would see something that happened in the news, like say, um, you know. People at ATMs getting attacked by uh, thugs who are wielding a stick that's stuck into a, uh, uh, spray, a soda yeah, bottle spray, filled with uh-huh. cement. Yeah. yeah. And so he would see that that would pop up in the news and then he would make a video how, where it yeah. was like he's the one who did it. Or like how to do it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 And how to how do to it make, too. How to make a, what did he call it? I don't know. He probably had some funny um, name he, for it. A skimmer. There was there was one called a skimmer. This was the the coolest one. The, I, I don't know if this is was still even ATM possible, skimmer? but I know it's it's uh it's at gas stations. So when you're at a gas station and you order gas from the pump, it sends a signal to the um to the register inside. And so essentially, what these people were doing is like they'd get a brown paper bag and fill it up or put inside of it like a uh, an interceptor. And they would just leave it on top of a pump all day. No one would really notice it. And then at the end of the day, you would take it and you would have 
like thousands of credit card numbers. And uh, at that point, you can charge them all five cents or something yeah. and just make a shit. Because no one's ever going to check their statement. And if they do, they're not really going to see a five cent charge <laughs> what? and uh, and think something suspicious. Did he happened. do something where he like put the number five on all of the gas pumps so that people kept going in and paying for his pump? Something like that? Yeah, I saw that one too. Yeah, that was that was funny. <laughs> that's that's a fucking funny yeah. one. Yeah, he put he put a five on every pump, and then he would just sit at actual pump five. Yeah, yeah, and uh, fill up his tank. I don't think that's a, the the right numbers, but he it was something like that, like or like you know he would right. put five in on a second pump somewhere, and then someone would walk in and say you know so much so and so on five. Yeah, yeah, he tried to come back to YouTube years later, and he had to change his name. They wouldn't let him have Jigaboo <laughs> Jones anymore, so it was like Jigga Two Jones, uh, yeah, and man. it. It really just didn't work. I guess like the days that he was popular on, uh, on like World Star Hip Hop or something had ended, and YouTube was not going to allow his. Ch- also, his his videos kind of sucked later on. Yeah, but, but uh, no offense to you, Jigaboo Jones, if you're listening. But back to the uh, rental cars and GPS, he would put the GPS in there, and like f- when when someone flew in to LA, they would uh, rent the same car he had, and he had the the keys and everything, so he could just pop the trunk. And he would take their laptop out or whatever. Yeah, right, right. Yeah. God, that's so elaborate. For, you know how many times there's oh, he was, fucking nothing I think he was in doing car? it in Vegas. Yeah. True. It's like a two-hour drive from LA. So you think that's uh, probably what happened then? This person just made I could have sworn I saw I'm sure it says oh, in this yeah, article. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I, can't, I can't read and talk at the same time. So, And who really cares? Anyone else can look it up. Yeah, but yeah. So but would you guys? Would you guys take the money from Airbnb or not? Why wouldn't I? What? Yeah, it's like she. It sounds like she didn't want the seven million to keep it quiet. If we know the story, well, no, because it was. I don't know. Who yeah, told? Know. Mm-hmm. Maybe they I gave her seven million dollars and forgot to get her to sign the NDA. Oh, uh, I hate it when that happens. Uh-huh. <laughs> A big <God> mistake. <laughs> Someone got fired. Yeah. <laughs> Give her another seven. Um, let's see. There was, uh, another story here. Uh, oh, uh, in Texas, I guess there's like a fucking heat wave going on around the country. I don't really know cause I live in Florida and it's always hot as shit, but, uh, supposedly everything's very, very hot, especially in Texas. And, um, have you seen some of these, like these smart thermostats yeah. for your house I heard about that, that control yeah. your AC? What's so oh, smart about, about this? Well, it's it's just kind of cool looking. It's like a cool looking device. It's like an Amazon Alexa thermostat, kind of. It's connected to the internet, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it, it's like it looks nice mm-hmm. and uh, it's easy to use. It, but, but I guess a lot of people had um, they opted in unknowingly to this this program where the uh, the company can change the temperature of your house from their end, <laughs> supposedly to save you money. Yeah. Uh, without informing you so like people were just waking up in their house and they're fucking sweating because <laughs> the company had remotely turned off their ac to avoid a power outage you know it's like yeah to avoid a power oh my god during the heat wave yeah oh yeah. fuck that and i mean whatever i i it makes sense like you should no. be aware of all the things involved with your your smart devices yeah. like i have a i have a uh a ring like the security thing I guess I shouldn't be saying this on a podcast, but either way, uh, Ring just had something recently where like they didn't tell you, but you had to, you have to go deep into their settings and opt out of this program that essentially would give Amazon permission to access and use your uh, your camera's footage for mm-hmm. anything. Oh wow, or something like that. So that's the first thing I did. So yeah, was, like deactivate that shit. I'm pretty sure these uh these big like conglomerate, like, uh, you know, like server farms, like Amazon have like this, this, uh, AI that just, uh, sews all of these videos together. So they just have a map of everything going on in the world. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Just <laughs> world surveillance. You know, your phone, the idea- your phone flashes an infrared, uh, camera flash every, like, uh, every time you open your phone. Really? Yeah. If you have like an, in- no, I if you have an that. infrared camera that can like see the infrared, uh, and you, and you turn your phone on 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 you know on camera. You can see the IR light up. Well, what, what would that do? Take your picture. Oh, uh, it's uh, it's like going it's a front facing infrared. Yeah. Well, actually, I didn't check the back because we we're well, all yeah, just like I mean, freaked out about the front. 
Well, like, I mean, a lot of phones have facial recognition now, and that's the only way that you can set a lock. Well, I, maybe not the only way, but, you know, facial recognition mm -hmm. will definitely do that. But, yeah, that is kind of – it, it makes you liable for everything, especially with Ring, if they know who's in your house or any of this. This is all data that they can use for whatever reasons they feel yeah. like. Um, but, like, with a phone, you know – if you uh, even if you're not the person whose phone it is, and it actually does take an infrared picture of you, I, then you just got identified trying to steal someone's phone. I bet these companies like uh, the IP cams that people have in their house, like they use like the internet security cameras. I bet those are doing stuff, similar kind of stuff. But I also imagine like why like all of that footage has to be like so boring, you know? Like yeah, I don't I don't know what they would use it for, but I. Like seeing people watch I mean, TV for four hours in the afternoon, like just uh, just looking at my front door. It, like is the, it used by leading up to? Is it? it like an Amazon liability thing for proving they did do a delivery? Oh yeah, and like oh, we can see that the that's, delivery yeah. man left it right there. Uh huh. Probably, I'm, I'm sure that's a part of it because I mean, have you heard like how crazy their their work conditions are uh, at Amazon for like, the delivery just, drivers or for the the people inside oh, for everyone like the delivery drivers are like shitting in bags and shit what? really why great because they're because they're all animals oh you know do they at least get IQ paid 12 dollars an hour to shit in a bag no it's it's because they're having to, to do crazy they're, they're yeah. having to compete uh, uh, to sorry <laughs> to get a quota done and yeah. that's causing them to not take any breaks i worked at uh ups when i was like 19 and it was hell it was oh really? Yeah, it was hell. It was it was male like working for, at any male place. I imagine is hell. I I was having nightmares about packages. Yeah, it was, yeah. That's that's when you know like you really have to quit yeah. your job is when you're having regular nightmares about being at work uh -huh. and you have to wake up and go to work. Yeah, I keep having nightmares about doing this podcast. So I think that's a pretty <laughs> good know. sign. I had a nightmare that like we were doing a podcast and it was a never ending podcast. And like you know how normally <laughs> normally when we're recording, I'm always like. Th quietly thinking in the back of my head, let's end this. These guys are idiots. But it was just like, uh -huh. going yeah, on we know and that forever. You're in a you're in purgatory. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, a, like a we, hellish level. You couldn't interrupt us because we wouldn't shut the fuck up. Yeah, yeah, that's what it was. You couldn't end then, the show. And right when you're trying to end it, saying, "All right, do we have any patron questions?" I'll say, "Oh no, actually, we have another story here. <laughs> uh, this one's." Even cooler. Um, did you hear about St. Louis? The, in St. Louis, the uh, people who they held the guns. Uh, I guess they pointed them at the protesters. Oh, yeah, what are their names? From, I forget their names. Oh, those lawyers. Uh, yeah, I've, they they have like a weird Polish. And name, I think they're they running for a, office now, right? Yeah, but they also yeah. yeah. Or you want to go ahead and finish it? Um. Yeah. So, anyways, uh, the during the protest, all all the protesters took a detour. I guess right in front of no, their no, house. No, no, no. They, so they broke came down with... a wrought iron fence mm -hmm. and got onto yeah, their property. It was a gated their... community and they broke in. Yeah, they like smashed the fence. But they the weren't fence. on their no, no, personal no, no. They, property. They, they were, were on their, within... no, no, they were on their property. You had to cross their property to get to the other property of the, of the mayor or the governor or something. And if you're in okay. a gated community, any intruder, I'm, I assume you would see as a threat if they broke down the gate to your yeah. gated community. Fucking right. And especially hundreds of people. Yeah. But, what you were getting at is they pled guilty, right? Yeah, yeah, they uh -huh. got tried, and it was it was like fourth guilty degree of being assault. based as fuck. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess the, yeah. the dude also what is it the McCloskeys or something? I don't know. Uh, the dude said he was uh, as soon as they confiscated his weapons, he would go out and buy more. Smart, and I and I also heard that, and I didn't confirm this, but it's as far as I understand, the reason he he said he pled guilty because he did have the gun and did bring it out to the protesters. So he was like, I'm right. not going to say I didn't do that. So I'm guilty. If, that, if that's if, what you're yeah, charging me with. that's the law, that's the law. Yeah, he was like, if, you're, if that's what you're charging him with, then that's what I did. I did it. Right. Yeah. But he doesn't think he's... Yeah. Um, but I feel like he's misunderstanding the word of the, the meaning of guilt, you know? Well, it depends on what the laws are. I mean, in Florida, definitely you can do that uh -huh. without breaking a law, I believe. Like, if someone's Look, on you, your property, could you, imagine, like, you can actually shoot. No, and this, I, I've this pointed Rusty's someone. gun at him in his own house. Th this was a mob. This was a crazy mob who just cut down a wrought iron fence. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. Like, your life is in danger. 
Well, like, I'm not really going to weep for these, uh, you know, fucking billionaire lawyers or anything, yeah. but um, I don't see how they were in the wrong at all, except for how they were holding the guns. <laughs> <laughs> that that wife, I, I would yeah. not trust her. Bad form. Yeah, yeah, pretty bad form. And plus, like, what kind of man lets his w- wife hold a gun? She, I mean, I mean, honestly, it sounds, now I'm not trying to be sexist here, but, like, shouldn't the wife have been in the house safe while he risked his life? Rusty, can we have yeah, a photo he, shoot of us uh, sitting on your front porch holding guns? <laughs> yes, actually, we can we can recreate the, the photo. You have the, the same the guns available? Um, he, I, I'm not sure. He's got an, it looks like an M15 or some shit like that. Or AR-15, and yeah. Uh, Are you going to dress up like the a, woman? I have that outfit. Yeah, do you have a pink shirt? That's the only thing we need. <laughs> and I guess khaki pants, too. Uh, we can go to Goodwill with Brittany. Perfect. Yeah, let's do it. That'll be a fun, fun thing. It, is, is let's a let's do that instead of boxing. Let's just take a photo shoot dressing like these lawyers. I'm sure. I'm sure Brittany that, has that's a wig. What the people a blonde wig, see. right? All you need is a, a blonde wig. Yeah, I bet she does have a whole bunch of wigs. Yeah, I get a blonde wig too. You All do? right, yeah, we can take a bunch. You know, we can still box too. <laughs> I, I, I guess we we didn't say on the show. I don't really know if boxing is a a great idea, but I'm still down to. I guess I didn't really want to blow it up into like a whole event. Uh, pay per view thing. Should but, we box dressed as these characters at least, or like? Well, if we do a tag team thing, then we can be dressed as these characters, and we can get like um, two other people to dress up like protesters. Oh, reactor can go in blackface. Oh yeah, and then well, I'll play were, the protesters. Were, people and, were there? Yeah, I I don't I don't think white people are would be protesting. Yeah, let, let's get reactor and Tim in there with blackface on. <laughs> but we'll we get guns too, right? <laughs> oh, we're gonna box with oh, guns. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, I mean, if you guys get guns. It's only like that's not fair. Did the we protesters don't... have guns after they broke down the fence? Yeah, I'm sure. I'm, like, I'm sure all. Well, you don't know well, that. Well, because they're protesters. If we're doing a full reenactment, can we film uh, blackface Chris and Tim breaking Rusty's fence? <laughs> Rusty doesn't have a. Fence. I guess that's up to uh, that's up to Tim and uh, react. Oh, just, I guarantee Tim. Tim is down so far. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. About I know that. Tim like the back of my hand. He's gonna <laughs> think this is a great idea. Um, I don't think Tim. Tim think doesn't wear blackface anymore. Not since uh, he started his podcast. I thought you were gonna say not since one became vice president. A bl- a blackface. A black guy. Oh. Hey, monkey! Did I? I didn't tell you about your uh, your fan. Oh shit! You met one of my fans in the wild. Yeah, this has been happening, kind of. A lot more regularly now, but to you, I'll get, uh, I, well, I'll get I'll get recognized at the bar, like the local bar I go to, and uh, like a few days ago, there was just some girl that was across the bar, and she's like, "Holy fucking shit, I know that guy," and I thought I actually knew her, <laughs> so I was like, uh, "Oh, are, are you Carl's friend?" Or and no, it turns out she was just a fan. Whatever. It was like two nights later. I was playing uh, that card game bullshit with uh, a few people around the table, and I didn't know the guy across from me. But he's like, "Wait a minute! Like, aren't you? Are you? You're Rusty Cage?" I was like, "Yeah, yeah, whatever." So that was cool. But then it turns out pretty quickly he was like, he was a real big fan of uh, Monkey Jones, and uh, I told him that we'll probably go to that bar. So, oh might my have to god, one of your, one of your fans. <laughs> Now, he seemed like a cool dude, though. So, like, um, if we're going to, you know, rate our own dads, I think we should rate our fans as well. Like, was my fan, like, a 10 out of 10 sex bomb or what? It, he was a, yeah, he was a guy. He was pretty handsome. I, I mean, I'm not a gay dude, but, like. I mean, I would imagine, like, yeah, if he, if he prefers me to you, he's probably really successful and handsome and probably yeah, tall. Well, so, uh, are you familiar with Jimmy Savile? Uh, we don't need to talk about him, do we? Well, can you just look up a picture of him? Like, look up a picture of him. Oh, wait, from he the looks 70s. like Jimmy Savile. <laughs> no, no, this is what this is what the person who uh, was the Rusty Cage fan. <laughs> oh, he looked, looked like a pedophile. It looked like, it looked like a a young twenty year old girl version of of Jimmy Savile. A girl version of a of an old man pedophile. Yes, she had a cigar and everything, <laughs> or a cigarello, but close okay. enough. That's pretty good. Did she talk so, like this? With a uh, raspy voice, yeah, a little, a little bit. Hey, maybe we should, uh, as a real social experiment, my fan and your fan hook up, and we take the baby, and you and me raise it. 
Because it's made from uh, hilarious. Yeah, it's like you know the the ideological grandpas get to raise the baby. Oh, I'm just looking at all these pictures of Jimmy Savile. How did no one know that he was raping children? <laughs> well, that's just another uh, another wormhole there. Um, wormhole? Yeah, monkey. That's a terrible idea. Oh, for us to raise a baby? Yes. Oh, okay. How about a reality show where you guys kidnap a baby and raise it? I mean, yeah, I think that could basically be the same idea. I think it would be funny. I, I just wanted to help our fans get laid. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, I'm trying to close out some of these other stories. I think that was pretty much everything. We figured out what freebasing was. Yeah, I guess that wasn't really that great of a story. Like, it, it was a very normal interaction. But it is interesting that, you know, you, you'll just see someone who recognizes Monkey Jones. Well, yeah, if he listens to this podcast, now he knows that like exactly what week I'm going to be at your house and you just promised him we'll be at the bar. So he'll probably be at that bar 10 hours a day, every day that week. You just ruined this man's that's life. that's what real fans do. <laughs> yeah, I said, I said, uh, I, I know not the day nor time. So just sit here. Yes. Right, yeah, we'll give him a secret much. code on the podcast so that all the other fans can't show up. Something only he would know. Uh, do we have any patron questions? Yeah, we probably have a lot because didn't we... St- when, did we do them last week? They were stupid, weren't they? <laughs> They're always stupid. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Let's see what we have. Let's only read the philosophical ones that are that are really intriguing. Okay. Artillery says, Reactor, what do you think about the Iraq War and Arab Spring? Uh, the Iraq War is funny because uh, 9-11 happened and they were like, it was Afghanistan and Osama and then now we need to go to war with a whole different country. Yeah, it was just weird. I don't know. It was obvious that Bush was just finishing his, his, he was like killing Saddam Hussein because his father failed, but wanted to also. Unfinished business, dude. Inherited will is a powerful thing. Yeah. Don't you watch One Piece? No. Oh. Well, that answers half the questions. Uh, Peyton <laughs> wants to know, why did Rusty make the Fancy Boy song? What's What's the Fancy Boy song? Oh, I haven't sent that to you? I've probably seen it, but for the audience, what is this? So, um, sometimes I just like to make music for, to just experiment with making music and, uh, and like to try out like different effects and whatnot without having to like spend time writing lyrics that I actually care about. But, uh, I, I made this, this song called Fancy Boy and it's a, it's a, from the point of view of a, a fancy a fancy young lad who gets picked on by all of his uh, his peers because they don't understand you know how great it is to be a fancy little lad you never heard this uh i think the question is why did you make it <laughs> that's a good question <laughs> well cuz it was stuck in my head and i couldn't get this idea of making this this fucking ridiculous song i guess i could play it after this episode, you can just perform it live. Uh, no, it's it, it heavily relies on on like backing vocals, so it has oh, to be a lot. Me and of, Reactor aren't good know. enough for that. Yeah. Oh, if you guys want to come, if when you visit, if you want to all harmonize and we can <laughs> put on our fanciest little lad outfits and perform the song, yeah, absolutely. Can I be like a gangster lad? I'll do like a rap verse uh, for you. For no, this, yeah, this is remix. before the blackface. Fancy Boy? What's it called? Fancy Boy? Fancy Boy I, was, I gotta find it. Yeah, I'll definitely put it at the end of this episode. Uh, I, I think I, initially I was just saying that I was gonna, uh, this is gonna be my new style of music and telling <laughs> everyone on Twitter. And then you, you took that back pretty quick? Yeah, I said everyone was gonna pick on me because, you know, once they heard the new direction I was going in, uh, no one would like me anymore. But everyone was very, very receptive. Reactor, you said you only want philosophical questions tonight. Oh no, was just, that was just a suggestion. Oh, I mean, we, we've got one. If you just want to go down that route, <laughs> what is it? Luby says, if you had to fuck one of the other people on the podcast, who would it be? Uh, if I had to do it, and like, is the other person like uh, conscious? <laughs> I mean, if I know that you have to do it, I'll probably let you because, I mean, obviously you would pick me. Yeah, yeah, I'll probably pick you because you're more submissive. Yeah. 
Yeah, correct. And I'm the gayest, <laughs> so I can give you lots of pleasure you didn't even know was possible. I, I feel like Rusty would fight me too hard. You guys would fight <laughs> each other for me? <laughs> yeah, we would fight over I just you. Realized, <laughs> I, I just realized this fancy voice song, There's it's already on like lyric sites and shit. Uh oh <laughs> So it was, it was just a joke song, but I think it's actually now out in the ethos. The ether? The yes i feel the i think ether. an ethos is like a creed or a, mo or like a motto uh, an oath i think you're right it's it's a it's a uh something to do with greek shit so yeah, you're gonna well, make a like whole military. fancy boy album yeah i guess i kind of have to now huh and you also have to tell us who you would rather fuck me or reactor oh i have to answer that yeah who would i rather fuck you or reactor right <sighs> um Reactor seems like he'd be too rough in bed. <laughs> I mean, should, should like, we just, just be, like find out in person in like a week? Like his, the veins in his neck would be just strained. He'd be like, come on, come on, come on. But he, come hey, on. lots of veins in the neck might Give mean me. lots of veins somewhere I'd be else. Like, Maybe Rusty, that's no, good. Rusty, what are you doing? What's gotten into you? Stop, please. Uh, oh, so a crybaby is what <laughs> I'm saying. <laughs> Don't do this, please. We can never, you can never take it back. We could probably make some good money if the three of us like did an OnlyFans channel and filmed a bunch of content while we're down there, you know? Like, you know, like not that? gay, like just for the money. What was that movie? Uh, Full Monty, right? Gay for Pay? Yeah. Yeah, I've seen that movie a hundred times. Gay, gay for huh? Pay, Gay for Pay 2, Gay for Pay 3. I've never heard of this. Uh, I, I got a, I actually got a uh, Pornhub subscription just so I could watch every episode. It's about these men who are straight, but they get paid to be gay, and then they have lots of gay sex for money. Would you guys, uh, okay. here's a question, would you guys uh, be male uh, gay porn stars if you were getting paid $100,000 per video? I mean, I, <laughs> I would do it for free because I'm obviously, I mean, a homosexual male myself, but I mean, I guess that would be a question for Rusty to answer. Not really. I, I don't think I would. Hundred grand. You wouldn't take video? it up the ass for a hundred grand. You're that homophobic. Fuck no. Life changing yes, money know, right? <laughs> for a pleasurable sexual experience. Rusty says no, thank you. A hundred. That's a hundred thousand dollars right. an hour. Yeah, that's two of your comic books, dude. How long does it just take you to make fucked. those? <laughs> just getting fucked in the ass. I don't. Well, here's the thing. I like making comics. I don't think I would enjoy getting fucked You've, in the ass. Okay. You don't knock it till you try it. I mean, classic line, but have you yeah. been fucked in the ass? Do you know that you don't like it? Uh, no, but I well, can assume then, a lot then, of things No, you can't. No, you know what to... happens when you assume you make an ass out of you and me, a.k.a. you should take it up the ass and stop assuming. Plus, there's that mod that, is, that's, that metaphor this is how... about like uh, walking through uh, lava to get to the, I don't know, like the the beach or something, like, you know? To get fucked in the ass? Yeah, you gotta get a bunch of cum up your butt to feel good. <laughs> Look how corrupted both of your minds have become. You've been drinking way too much of unfiltered water. Yeah, all no. Spending too much time on a uh, on social media, and now you're you're begging me. It's just, all, just the two, all the other two. All the other boring now. Say, you're begging me to say that I would get fucked in the ass for $100,000. <laughs> we just want you to admit it. calling me insane. We just want you to admit it. <laughs> yeah. Be a real man. Like, a real man is so anti-gay, anti-homophobia, yeah, that not he'll gay. just admit it's not to gay. being gay. It's, it's only gay if you do it for free. <laughs> it's only gay if you enjoy it. You gotta find out if you will enjoy it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, see? Like, how can you know well, if you I'll... like heroin if you never try it? I don't know. No, That's a good question. Pretty much guaranteed that you'll like heroin. You'll you'll really like How heroin. How can you know unless you try for yourself? No, guaranteed. It's better than sex. As long as you're human, yeah. you're going to Is it better than it. butt sex, though? That's the question, Rusty. <laughs> yeah, and you don't get $100,000 out of it. Uh, Maybe not. What what if what if we let you do heroin and fucked in the butt at the same time? <laughs> While you're time? on heroin? <laughs> yeah, would you try that? <laughs> Th there might feel great then. <laughs> <laughs> Who fucking knows once I'm on heroin? Is that a, can we do a Kickstarter, get Rusty high on heroin and then fuck him in the ass? I could, I could see uh, my entire life being ruined and all just pointing back to this, this podcast. one conversation. Yes.
<laughs> how much money would it, if a hundred thousand is not enough? How much would it take for you to do heroin and get fucked in the ass? There has to be a number, and I'm not yeah. leaving here mm. until you say the number. No, there, there's no number. No, there is. You a wouldn't do it for a billion dollars. I don't. I don't probably. Are not. you I kidding don't really me, what, dude? Come on. Uh, would you do it for the superpower to kill anyone that you point at? Ooh, that's actually. <laughs> oh, that's God. actually. Uh, You'd rather kill than have a billion dollars? You could kill people with the money. I could make money. By killing people? By pointing at them? <laughs> oh, well, you could you could rule the world by doing that. Could you? Uh, yeah, you probably could. How would he get in charge? Because everyone who charges towards him to, to lock him up, he points at them. <laughs> they oh, just shit, but what if, people are, what if more than two people are running at me from multiple you directions? Got, how many fingers what you got? if they shoot you with a sniper scope and you can't see them? I'd you probably just the, point at myself point, from the, sh- the shame of getting fucked in the you ass. Point at the bullet. Yeah, point at the bullet. <laughs> Can you imagine? What if someone got that power to to point at people and die, and just how easy it would actually be to uh, to kill them or to just like? I, 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 I feel know, like yeah, arrest they them. wouldn't still be able to snipe you or you know kill you slowly with like cigarettes or fluoride in your water, but you know, right? I would rather just have the death note and nobody knows I have the power. Oh, yeah, yeah. But you guys would totally but, be safe. I totally would not target in, in you the, guys. In the story of Death Note, didn't they eventually find out somehow that he had the power? Yeah, but he, yeah, he, he, he beats the main... Oh, yeah, he beats the main detective, and then there's, like, another... He, he reigns supreme for, like, five years, so at least oh. he'll have a good time. Oh, okay. He like, he becomes, everyone. like... He actually wins and becomes the god of the new world for a good number of years, and then L's successor beats him, I guess. How? How does? Damn, how do you? I, beat, I gotta finish how do you reading that. <sighs> he he like found some crazy fan of Kira to become like a prophet, and he gave him a, an extra death note, or he gave him the death note, and he was just I don't. It was it was not good. People don't uh, like the ending. Yeah, yeah. That's probably why I don't remember it. Yeah, it was good when like it should have ended when Kira won. Yeah, I think I remember that. And I was thinking like, oh, okay, they made more, but it's. It ruins it all, so, man. Yeah. Yeah. Not worth watching. I got the uh, the mangas. I just have never read them. I you think it's less than... Uh, it's like a hundred some chapters or maybe less than that, so you could probably knock it out in a day. How do we go from superpowers to yeah. talking about manga? What's wrong with you guys? <laughs> I don't know. It seems like we the same genre something. to me. Yeah. Yeah, well, it's like the Death Note thing, right? So, I mean, I guess you really wouldn't want people to know... But if you had to point at people, then they, if, you could just point at people really far away. All right, how about this? How about this? What superpowers would you guys choose if you could choose one superpower? Uh, I, I don't know. There's always, there's like, first off, what a what an old question. Uh-huh. Fuck you, Rusty. You know, sorry, sorry. I didn't, I didn't Reactor is trying his best and you're just <laughs> giving him shit. No, it's just, just a question. I'm not really trying. Oh, good. I don't really know. Uh, to fly, probably. It seems... Well, like, no, I'd probably just crash. Um, yeah, I'd rather just, like, teleport anywhere on Earth that I want to go instantaneously. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. That's pretty yeah, useful. That. I, I think I'd be a shapeshifter. That'd you don't want to look like too. you? Uh, No, I, I mean, if I don't have I'd to. I'd want to look like you. Can I shapeshift into you while you're not you? <laughs> yeah. Uh, That's I mean, my that would, second that would power. Suck. That would be, like, the the con of the the power it's like you can turn into someone but then whoever you turn into turns into you for the time being oh that would suck yeah because like what i would want to do is i would want to like uh like turn into people's friends and stuff and just ruin their relationships as a joke that'd be a, that'd be a huge misuse of, uh, of that like, power like like uh but fuck it like it Say my ex girlfriend cheated on me. I would turn into her mom and go into her house. So like while she comes home, she she walks in her house and she sees her mom stabbing her cat on the kitchen counter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'd be great. And then you turn back into yourself and she thinks her mom did it. Uh-huh. No, no. And then she looks in a mirror and she's you. <laughs> <laughs> and her entire mind just shatters instantly. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's that's a that's a good use of that. I, I I like powers that have to. Uh, there's a catch to them. Well, like like you I can shapeshift. But every time you shapeshift into someone, you have to kill their cat. 
Uh, yeah, well, that that was like um, with with Nightcrawler and X Men. Every time he teleported, he'd leave behind a horrific smelling plume of smoke. Oh, yeah, I guess it was like sulfur. Air. So it was like, yeah, yeah, it was like, yeah, I guess it was sulfur. So it just smelled like rotten eggs and farts every time you teleport. <laughs> What if your your superpower <laughs> it just, drawback? It seems so unnecessary. Your superpower is you're like the best at the knife game, but the drawback is you have to look like Steve Buscemi. <laughs> yeah, or yeah. Would you take that, that would one? Suck. I think I'd leave that one. <laughs> yeah, that's a waste of a power. <laughs> what, what if your fingers could grow back if you cut them off? You'd never go Rusty hungry. Rusty hasn't tried. Maybe they do grow back. Like, he hasn't like tried it, it. Yeah, if you if you're like starving, you can just cut your fingers off and, and eat them. Rusty, do you think you have that power and you just haven't revealed it yet? I don't believe so. And also, would you? You'd probably die. <laughs> Why would you Not die? If it grows because back. Your, your your body would would. Be, I guess. I guess you can eat fingers. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> uh, Josh, uh, actual trash rat who has not been on the show since like episode three, like last year. He was telling me about. Yeah, he was telling me about a uh, kuru. How that works? You know, that's the disease that you get from cannibalism. Mm. And it was like if you're eating other humans' brains your body processes that as brain tissue and it like kind of fucks it up. Well, don't eat so brain. So you end up... What was that? Oh, just don't eat the brain. The rest of the meat yeah, is, I don't, is really close to pork. That's why they call pork the other white meat mm-hmm. because the original white meat is human. It was, it was essentially like your body's using resources to try to protect or or fix this uh, this tissue. <laughs> So if it like recognizes, I wonder if it works with a human organs too. If you eat, you know, like a human liver, yeah, that, that's why. Gonna, that's why human meat is so delicious because your body's like, holy shit, this is exactly the proteins I want. I don't you know, think it's that's like, this right. Is, this is exactly what I need. Do you think the you know? human body's delicious? Is Have that you what ever, you said? If you taste human meat, it's the most delicious meat you'll ever taste. Really? Okay. I guess that's another thing to do. Bucket list item for the 4th of July. We all have to eat some human meat. Russ, did oh, you have man. any volunteers? Um, Maybe uh, ooh, we can talk to Aggie, but I don't know. You don't said that we're going to Skid to. Row. Maybe a homeless guy wants to trade his life for scientific discovery. I wonder if, the, that's a good wonder if there's a way to That could be an episode that. of Reactor's new uh, Bill Nye for adults, like dissecting the corpse of a human and eating it and how to cook it. Exhuming a body from the graveyard and cooking it? Into, no, like, hiring putting a homeless the bones guy. In stew? I want him to be fresh. Oh, yeah, yeah, getting a homeless guy. That's a good idea. No one will miss him. Dead homeless guys. So will the final that's, episode of this uh, on this channel be us live streaming, since we probably can't live stream on the new channel and we're all going to be at your house soon? Uh, hmm. Oh, yeah, that's true. I forgot about that. Um, if we do a live stream, yeah, I got to figure out that setup because we'll probably be able to do a few episodes. I mean, we're going to have um, a lot of people you know, there. Like Eggie's there. Yeah. yeah if, should we either have everyone all on one no. podcast? Because I don't know. Reactor City okay. might not be there all week anyway, right? Yeah. I don't, I don't yeah. And, and Epp's the- going to be there too. So it, it might be interesting. You know, I can have like, I think Gamer from Mars is coming. We can have like Emp, you know, run the show with gamer from oh yeah Mars. he's so good at that <laughs> yeah well it'll be interesting either way but yeah i guess we will do a probably we'll do a live stream then well speaking of amp i've got some chinese food on the way to my house so i think i'm gonna have to dip out soon are we done with the show do you order chinese I food while we so. were recording yeah i did uh that's wow. pretty cool like half an hour ago dude i'm hungry i didn't yeah. think the show was gonna go over an hour give a monkey a break mm-hmm. yeah all right. Do you guys want to go on for another 20 minutes? We're at yeah, an I got, hour I got 10. 20 minutes in me. Okay, yeah, go yeah, for it's... it. I'll eat my Chinese food on, <laughs> in the mic. No, I say we end it. Yeah, um, yeah. We should always end it. Okay. Oh, you just listened to All Rusty? Right, well, yeah, I guess I guess everyone, uh, thank you for listening. Um, someone give the Patreon spiel. I suck at that. Uh, well, we're about to earn no income from YouTube because we're starting a new channel. So the only oh, support this show gets is our Patreon. So thanks to those guys. And if you like the show, that's the best way to support it, I reckon. Yeah, it's uh, Patreon, patreon.com slash trash rats. And, uh, and everyone who joins, we're doing a, a bonus for everyone who joins uh, this week that we're all going to treat them like human beings. 
I don't think they're paying us quite that much, but I maybe for a week I could try it. Yeah. Well, uh, thank you for listening, everyone. I guess now enjoy Fancy Boy. <laughs> Oh, I'm just a fancy boy I like to dance and sing I think my fancy thoughts I like my fancy things Oh, but some of the other children Can be so cruel to me But they don't understand I'm a fancy boy da 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 da. Oh, fancy boy, 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 fancy boy. Some of the other children can be so cruel to me, cause they don't understand. I'm a fancy boy. La da da da, la da da da, la da 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 da. Oh, fancy boy, 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 fancy boy. None of the other children understand my pain. Boy, la